In the latest Royal Circus Act, Megan has unveiled her new lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard. And let's just say it's been met with about as much enthusiasm as a soggy sandwich at a picnic. Joanna Gaines, queen of lifestyle branding herself, couldn't help but throw some well-deserved shade at what can only be described as a branding disaster. The name, which sounds like something you'd expect to find on a poorly translated menu in a tourist trap, has been universally panned as a prime example of Megan's disconnect from reality. Megan, in her infinite wisdom, took to Instagram to share a glimpse of her grand vision, which apparently involves prancing around her $14 million mansion in ball gowns, because, you know, that's relatable. The moniker, inspired by her Santa Barbara home's locale, dubbed the American Riviera for its scenic beauty, manages to be both a mouthful and utterly meaningless to the average Joe. It's as if Megan threw a bunch of fancy-sounding words in a blender and hoped for the best. The brand's bio, by Megan, the Duchess of Sussex and established 2024, reeks of unearned prestige. Its website, adorned with a logo that screams I'm a royal, worship me, has left people scratching their heads. What exactly is American Riviera Orchard? A hotel? A wine label? A blog? Your guess is as good as mine. Critics, including the Raw News Network, have been quick to point out Megan's penchant for terrible naming, branding this latest venture as long, uncatchy, and downright confusing. The promotional video, featuring Megan wandering her estate in outrageously expensive attire, has been mocked for its blatant disconnect from the average person's lifestyle. Comparisons have been drawn to Blake Lively's Preserve, a similar venture that tanked faster than you can say, out of touch. Users across social media have voiced their confusion and irritation, labeling the brand name as pretentious nonsensical and a sad attempt at leveraging her duchess title for commercial gain. The choice to dub a tiny slice of California as the American Riviera is an exercise in American-centric arrogance. The notion dismisses the existence of numerous other Rivieras in the U.S. and Mexico, not to mention the absurdity of elevating Santa Barbara to represent an entire continent's luxury coastline. Megan's insistence on this name, despite its clear absurdity, paints a picture of a duchess surrounded by yes-men, too afraid to tell her that her brilliant ideas are anything but. Joanna Gaines' critique hits the nail on the head, capturing the general bewilderment and disdain for Megan's latest, latest foray into lifestyle branding. The name American Riviera Orchard tells us nothing about the brand, except perhaps that Megan is desperately clinging to her royal status to sell, well, whatever it is she's selling. The only thing clear from this branding fiasco is Megan's inability to connect with the very audience she claims to serve, further cementing her status as the out-of-touch Duchess of Sussex.